The AutoDS Finder is a great product research tool that saves you a lot of time in researching products and adding them to your store since it automates all of that for you. However, some people are asking how to avoid certain products from being imported to your store using the AutoDS Finder. As you know, it automatically adds the products themselves from the trending history that they have. But on the other hand, you don't have control over what products are being added from which categories. That is exactly what I will be going over in this video how to avoid products from being imported to your store using the AutoDS Finder. So as you guys know, this is the AutoDS Finder menu right here. And here you can choose what type of product you want to add or what type of product you want the Finder to add to your store based on its sales history. For example, I can add a product or I can add many products that sold eight times in the last month, five times in the last month, or that sold three times in the last month. Each one costs a certain credit. And we can also add products with a high chance of having a coupon, which means we are going to get a discount when we buy that product and simply profit more. But once again, this is going to add products from every single category. So for example, let's say that I don't want the finder to add clothes. All right, let's say I'm selling enough of them or my niche doesn't have anything to do with clothes and I simply do not want that. But I do want the finder to add all kinds of trending dropshipping products. So how do I get it to avoid adding clothes to my store? Let's see how that is done. What you need to do on the AutoDS menu is click on settings on the left side. Then you want to click on the keywords column up here on top. Here is where I can add a whole bunch of blacklisted keywords that I don't want to see on my listings. I can simply tell AutoDS to not import any products that have a specific keyword. So let's see how that is done. I'm going to click on add keywords and here is the keyword list. So now, for example, I want to start adding the words that I don't want AutoDS to import that product if it has that word inside. So let's start shirt, clothes, pants, leggings, socks, hats, and so forth. So what I'm going to do is add all of these words. And if the keyword appears in the product's title, then I can tell the system don't upload the product. I can also tell it to delete that keyword from the text. But in this case, I don't want the finder to add these products at all. So I'm going to click on don't upload the product. If the keyword appears in the product's description, do the same. So don't upload the product. And if the keyword appears in the product's manufacturer, once again, don't upload the product, even though that probably won't be the case here. And what I'm going to do is add all of the keywords that have to do with clothes. All right. And once I'm done with that, for example, gloves and you guys get the picture scarves and so forth. Then you're going to click on save. And as we can see here, we have all of these keywords that we just added. What action we want the system to take once it finds one of those keywords in the import process. So block it from uploading if it's on the manufacturer, if it's on the title, or if it's anywhere in the description. That is all that I have to do. Now, when I add products using the single product importer, the multiple products importer, or the AutoDS finder, the AutoDS system will take a look at the blacklisted keywords and it will avoid adding any product that has those words inside. So that is how it's done. That is how you can avoid products from being added to your store using the AutoDS finder. And that way you won't be adding all kinds of products or products inside certain categories that you simply do not want to see on your store. That's it for this quick explanation. I hope that you found it useful. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always stay updated on all of the latest and all of the hottest topics that we have coming out in the world of dropshipping. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the future videos.